So you guys did acoustic meet and greet? Yeah. Um, you said it went pretty well. Kids are stoked about it. What all does that entail? Uh, it's three acoustic songs, uh, okay. and then it's kind of a Q&A, uh, oh, and cool. then we meet them, take photos. Yeah, yeah, you get a show, the CD. Don't you get the CD? You get the CD. Posters, show, Pat. Poster. We get, you get a bunch of yeah. shit. We get a bunch <laughs> yeah. of shit. Because honestly, just to, like, the, the meet and greet aspect of it is, like, the most minimal yeah. thing, you know? Because sure. we... I think we as a band would feel weird charging someone to meet us. Well, so. you're charging me. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I, so it's like... Free. Actually, if you, if you price out everything, we actually don't make money on the meet and greet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every, with every, the merch and stuff. It, no, I mean, everything just as, is as cost. Like, the, oh, yeah. cool. So and we we intentionally did that because I I'm not trying to sell myself like I'm not trying to sell myself as Absolutely. a as a commodity I, you know if a fan wants to come here and this is like a cool thing that they want to take part in then that's their option they you know if they want to do that and, if you're and into our band I'm, like and you've been coming to our shows you probably know that you can just literally we're go, we're yeah we're all gonna be in the crowd yeah, we're mean, all gonna be hanging out around. so it's like nobody's like charging like hey here's 25 bucks you, you, you know, know like it, that's not happening well and that, it, the reason i threw that question in and i saw a picture on facebook that you guys had did you, you had done one um my partner in the website just wrote a piece kind of dissecting the whole vip experience because it's becoming a real mainstream thing and you try to look at both sides of the coin where from a business side you know a lot of bands 150 bucks, you know, yeah. and you, yes, you're yeah. getting stuff, that but you, you maybe that. get one Shit guy in the band. Oh yeah. I, I mean, we're, we, it, when it was presented to us, we intentionally jam packed and full of incentives. I, and when you break down the costs, we're, at, we're not making money on it. Yeah, no. And I, and, and that's respectable. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I think it says a lot to your character, um, as, as people, as a band that, you know, it's not about quick money, it's not about screwing people, but. If it, anything, it, I feel like it's most, like we've we've always had like acoustic elements, I guess, on the last couple of records sure, or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, you're paying an extra ticket price to get an extra, to get the songs that are not gonna be played. Yeah. You know, yeah. actually one of them will be played, yeah. but you know what I mean? Yeah, you're, get, you're getting this thing that we, that, that's an aspect of our band that's normally not. Well, it's, I, I, I guess uh, I kind of look at it as, you know, quote unquote, kind of a special moment because like I said most most bands don't do that right. in their meet and greets it's like they sit at a table and your cattle called and hey what's going on hey what's going on can we do a picture can we sign a post or whatever yeah so I mean kudos to you guys really I, I think that's a I think that's an awesome thing and if you can make a couple bucks off I think cool I, I think generally everybody knows there's a shelf life oh, yeah. to music I mean you know not everybody's a grateful bed you know, I mean, it, it would be nice to be able to oh, it'd be nice. play this when you're 70, but yeah. the reality. Um, so with the acoustic stuff, have you guys ever talked about doing kind of a an EP or some small split, just all acoustic? I don't know if we've done Have we talked I mean, about that? There's been talks. I, I mean, we, we talk about a lot of things. Yeah. 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 There should be an option that's up in the air. But. Yeah. So it would be something you guys you guys would be open to doing if it kind of just... I, I'm just curious. Yeah, it we're, could. Yeah, we're yeah. Not for at this point. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, if it's the right, right time. Right place. I can see us doing it. Yeah. Why not? Well, hey, we're all three here, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are sick. Um, so a couple more questions. Um, one, you guys have been doing something called keeping warm in a cold world. Yep. Yeah. Um, I, I definitely looked that up and really wasn't able to find a whole lot of info about it. Um, but more so for the people that watch this video, you know, hopefully all four of them. Um, why don't you guys give, give everybody like a little bit of a synopsis a breakdown of what it is. It's uh, it's an annual set of charity shows that we do uh, every year, uh, usually on the West Coast uh, in California. We've kind of been extending it to some different places, uh, but 
we pick a charity and all the proceeds go to the charity or uh, maybe it's the charity you know accepts donations like sleeping bags and socks and cool. so admission to the show is you know sleeping bags and socks That's awesome. it's usually around four or five shows or three to four shows depending on what we're doing that year um, and we try to make it a cool lineup uh, and we do it every year around the holidays awesome. yep. um, now, do you guys have anything set up, you know, like some sort of uh, maybe a foundation or something where, where yep. people could donate to it? No, 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 no. I mean, uh, it's, well, it, it's, it's, just, it's just through the shows. Like, so it's just yeah, yeah. straight up, yeah, or or shows, it whatever like it is. Different, different years have been for different things. So right. like this year was like the Wildlife Defense League. Right. Yeah. Okay. Year, Wildlife so. Defense League. Last year was the Trevor Project. Uh, the year before that, uh, all the proceeds went to uh, Mitch's daughter, uh, Mitch from Suicide Silence's yeah. daughter, her college fund. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. The year we did the Alpha Project one year, um, and that was like the sleeping bag year. Uh, so it varies every year. So. so I mean, essentially, it's just something that you guys started believe in. I, I, that's killer. Yeah. Um, once again, that says a lot about your character, as guys, as a band, the whole thing. I mean, I just. And I'm just curious, you know, hey, West Coast people, watch out next, uh, next holidays. Yeah. You know. Uh, so, word on the street is, and, and we'll, we're going to call out Jesse here, that uh, there's some footage of uh, Scott Vogel giving him some lip action. Oh, yeah. Full on open <laughs> mouth. Yeah. Um, is that is that multiple, legit? Multiple times, Mo it's multi happened. Yeah. actual fact. Nice. On lots, stage. lots of that. Heard it here, folks. Yeah. Uh, Tom? I don't know about that. I wasn't part of the kiss. No. <laughs> hey, you could tell. You've seen it. I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah. No tongue, but no tongue. De definitely a warm embrace. Yeah. Oh. Well, hey, you know, I mean, uh, we can go on about that forever. I mean, you know, Jesse and Vogel sitting in a tree. Uh, so, if stick to your guns, heaven forbid, were to call it a day after this tour, um, give me one band that that each of you would want to go out with a bang for the last show and play with. You can open for them; they can open for you. Whatever. It can't be Green Day. Last show? Yes. Yeah. Last show ever. Fuck. Ever. I don't know. Probably. Uh, I mean, if it's like the last show ever, realistically, I'd be like, oh, terror and riding out, like sick show. I mean, that's a tour. We've already seen yeah. it. It's it'd be cool but if I, it, awesome show. it'd be cool if I open up for Rise Against, but who knows how that's gonna go? You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who knows? You want your last show to be a banger for you, yeah. not not for like. We're talking like half hearts last show. That's what I want to see. So, well, how about for you? Well, I mean, I would pick the same thing. I would pick our friends that I know that the show's gonna pop off. Sure, you know, that's I'm not just gonna, gonna be killer. Yeah, I'm not. I, I I also would love to go out with Rise Against or something because they're one of my favorite bands. But I know if we stood in front of 3,000 Rise Against fans and they never heard us before and it was our last show, it would <laughs> probably not go over that. <laughs> yeah. Man, you that's know? a lot of uh, that's a lot of vegans on that show. That's, that's that's not a lot of meat getting eaten there. That's that's cheap. Um, okay, guys, last question. I uh, appreciate your time putting up with my bullshit. And, um, if stick to your guns was a sexual position, what would it be? Uh, I'd say missionary with a twist. It speaks for itself. <laughs> It's kind of every everybody wins. Yes, everyone wins. Cool. So, this is Cooper. Stick to your guns. Signing off. <laughs>